Hello everybody. Today I want to talk about vibration analysis is one powerful and maintenance predictive. The vibration is an important indicator of mechanical integrity of rotating equipment. Vibration with the rotating machinery tell a great deal about the condition of that machine. So how we can detect the problem with vibration analysis. Machine defect detect through vibration signal. Thus, misalignment, imbalance, bent shaft, mechanical looseness, we will find in mechanical looseness, soft foot, structural looseness, we lose heating like bearing, etc., gear, anything. Electrical problem like inequal uh, rotor with stator, bearing defect, gear defect. Is time wave analysis second fast Fourier FFT spectrum analysis that phase analysis envelope detection acoustic emission analysis high frequency detection all these we 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 detect the problem exactly like the first time wave is the global if we can find data, we go directly transfer this the time wave to FFT. Like I want to show you this picture. This is time wave. This is a global uh, problem. Global problem. But if you're going to detect the problem, we must go to the FFT. FFT, we go to check anything we have. The, like this, we have the problem frequency like bearing, like gear, like because the vibration signal amplitude is the size of vibration signal is the term severity of the fault. The higher amplitude, the higher vibration, the higher problem. Amplitude is always relative to the level vibration of good machine. Second is the frequency is number of the time. And even occur give time to even vibration on the cycle. The frequency which the vibration occur indicates the type of the fault. Certain type of fault typically occur certain frequency. So, the third one is the phase measure the angular difference between now mark on the rotating shaft and the shaft vibration signal. This is how we can measure how uh, this is the time domain. Vibration signal, this is time wave, domain time. This is uh, formula, velocity, delta velocity, m sinus, omega t. Positioning the vibration measure source. So select the best measuring point on the machine, avoid and surface, unloading, bearing, zone housing, split, 60 car gap. One measuring vibration with hand. Handheld sensor, its imperative is you perform consists reading by paying close attention to sensor position, to sensor angle, and the contact pressure. Of course, these three types we must uh, applicate it when we can make take measurement of any problem on the machine for take good uh, measurement over vibration. Measurement method displacement is the change in distance or position of an objective relative to reference to magnitude of displacement in measured as amplitude. Two measurement derivative of displacement first is velocity. Velocity, the velocity is the change displacement as function of the time, its speed, which distance traveled, for example. For example, 3 mm per second. Acceleration, the rate change of velocity is 3 mm second square. So the vibration has three measurement characteristics displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Displacement, millimeter, millimeter per second velocity, and millimeter square is acceleration. Is all delivered by meter. Other thing we talk for talk for uh, when we take vibration, we have three directions. 
vertical, horizontal, and axial. We see we can give information about what is axial, uh, uh, vertical. This is a pump. There's vertical, horizontal, and axial. I want to give you definition what is axial, vertical, and horizontal. Horizontal measurement typically show the most vibration because the mechanical is more flexible in horizontal plan. Vertical measurement typically show less reading than horizontal because of the stiffness due to the mounting gravity. Per mount imbalance, which is very common machinery problem, produces radial vibration that has both the vertical and the horizontal component. Since the machine more flexible in the horizontal plan, excessive horizontal vibration is good indicator of imbalance. And talk about axial measurement, ideal show very little vibration as most force as generated perpendicular to the shaft. However, however, misalignment and pen shaft created vibration axial plan. Equipment that's very mounted on overhead may be so different in response. So if you talk for axial is good indicator for measurement and bench shaft. If you talk for horizontal, is good for imbalance. Vibration reading taken this position can provide less than as to what may be causing excessive vibration. Measurement should be taken as possible to close the bearing, choose the flat shift pass to place some sort of agonist. This measurement should be taken at the same precise location for comparison. Yes, of course, when you take the, the, the measurement, you should be taken close the bearing and the good surface and clean surface. In, in the end, ISO standard are good for start. You till you develop machinery historic ISO chart definition good or not good for very wide range machinery classification. Every machine is manufacturing different. That's totally different from that show like flexible or rigid. Operation under different conditions, flow, pressure, temperature, maintain this. I want to give you an example how happens if we cannot make uh, analysis vibrator. This is the result and being completely damaged many costs for this alignment, grease, uh, anything. We give this. And another picture, I want to give you this, how we can take measurement and analyze the laboratory on the machine. Thank you for watching this video and I see you next video. Not forget to give subscribe. Bye bye. <music>